Ryan is going to give us his top five players available, which, as some of you may know, does not translate to the draft order sometimes. So this is not a mock draft, right? These are your, your top five players for the draft. Well, if you're an NBA team, you can either go by need mm -hmm. or by the best player available. And okay. sometimes you'll see a little bit of both, but you're ready to get into it, Mal. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Let's go five, from five to one. Who you got? Number five. If I'm going to go with my number five pick right now, Marvin Bagley. Mm. And I'm going to pick Marvin Bagley. This is tough because this is a deep draft. The one thing that Marvin Bagley does is he – oh, now we're here. There we go. Appreciate it, Mal. There you go. Marvin Bagley's, Bagley's an NBA-ready player. This is a guy who could volley for Rookie of the Year promotions if he gets on the right team. Right. Uh, he's long. He's athletic. He needs to be a better rebounder. But the kid's got skill. He's got a high motor. And most of all, he just played in a Coach K system, which means what, Mal? He knows how to play basketball. Usually that translates to immediate impact yes. on the NBA. Is yes. that his case yes. as well? Yeah, and I think he's even more NBA-ready than a guy like DeAndre Ayton, mm -hmm. who didn't have the same coaching from a Coach K system. And if I'm looking at Bagley, I'd like to see him improve some shooting, step his game out to the perimeter a little bit. But he has all those skills. But I think he's immediately going to be as effective in the NBA, Mal. All right, who you got number four? And I'll, and I'll help you out with the, with the, with the technology. Yeah. Number four, number four. I'm going to go with Jaron Jackson Jr. Oh, and this is State. A, this is a guy who, and, Ryan. hey, this is a guy, Mal Mal. He improved his stock drastically through the draft process because he tested off the charts. He's a guy who's a new NBA center. When I say new NBA center, that means that he can move his feet. He can shoot the open three. He's athletic. He's long. He can defend one through five, and he can also put the ball on the floor. So, Mal, we're trending to positionless basketball, and this guy, even though he's a project down the line, uh -huh. he's an asset that could be a star for some years to come. This Jaron Jackson Jr. Do you think that's the reason why Dwight Howard was traded. Oh, the well, you're going to go because there, you just, said, you, just, you just gave Ooh. me all the features of the news center. Is that the reason why Dwight Howard was just traded again today? Teams no longer build around the center, and that put Dwight Howard in a tough place, and that's why you see a guy with that type of star power being traded and moved, and a guy like Ryan Holland sitting uh -huh. here with you, uh -huh. doing TV, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless... This Jaron Jackson Jr., he's long, he's athletic, yeah. he shoots. It's he physical, fits this physical new, guy. He fits this new NBA, but he'll be a project, and right now is the perfect time for him to be coming into the NBA. And you said it, he can shoot the three. Yes. And we don't yes. see that very often with guys with this buildup, right? Yes, and he's very active. Number three for Ryan Hollins, top five players in the 2018 NBA draft. Numero tres. Numero tres. And uh, this is a guy, Mau Mau. Oh, number three. This guy easily could have been number one. But he had some back issues in school. Yeah. Uh, you know, he missed some time. And you know, with the back, you, you don't quite know how a guy could react. So if... Michael Porter Jr., any team that takes him, you want to see him actually get healthy. You want to give him an opportunity to play the best basketball that he can play. But he's about 6'9", 6'10". He can put the ball on the floor. He's athletic. He can shoot the ball. This guy has the makings of a star. He could easily be the best player in this entire draft, now, and it's a deep draft. ESPN has him at number seven going to the Bulls. Right here, we can read it in our graphic. Uh, do you think he can actually make the jump, moving up a little bit? But, or are there going to be concerns for his health and the lack of time he actually went through this past year? Yeah, he, he could go anywhere from, from 2 to 7 to almost all the way down to 10, depending on how that back is right. and how those MRAs, MRIs stand out in those physicals. But this guy could have been number one. You know, you don't see 6'9", 6'10", guys who can put the ball on the floor. You're thinking of Kevin Durant. Uh, you're thinking of a young Tracy McGrady, some of these comparisons, but he has that type of skill and talent and easily was slated at number one in previous draft charts. All right, now I'm starting to bite my nails because we got two great players. I have my own number one. I'm not going to say it right now. But, so we still have on the board DeAndre Ayton, my boy, Luka Doncic from Real Madrid, Mohamed Bamba, who you got going number two, numero dos, Ryan Hollins. Yeah, I, I like how you build the anticipation and let it be known. This is a deep, this is the deepest draft mount. Why are you smiling? Yeah. We've seen no, it all the time. Look, look, look. I might have an idea. What are you going to do? Mount, mount, mount. 
as a big man that pays me to do this, <laughs> but I'm going number two, DeAndre Ayton. Wow. Listen, wow. the Sacramento Kings are getting a steal here. DeAndre Ayton, he reminds me, when you look at his physical stature, he looks like a young David Robinson. He's a guy who's highly skilled. He can get up and down the floor. His shoulders are broad. And I've watched this kid since he's played in high school. And physically, he's just turned into a man. And he dominated the Pac-12 this year. The questions I had, he played in the Arizona system. Yes. I didn't see him improve much. I want to see him playing against bigger, stronger, taller players. I think it's going to take him a little time to develop, but this kid is going to be an absolute star, and I love the way he's trending, Mal. But you keep saying the Kings. Why would the Suns pass on him? Why would the, you want to know why the Suns are going to pass I, him? I, I, I do uh, want to know I, why. Are you going to I'm, know why? Well, my job here is to ask you questions, and I'm asking you well, hey, well, why. Guess what? The Por Suns, que, my the Suns Por listen, Mal. The Suns are going to pass oh. on him by Luka Doncic. Wow. Listen, when I played in the Spanish League, this kid was about 16 or 17 years old at the time, balling out for Real Madrid. And for those who don't know, if this is baseball, he's playing for the Yankees at 16 wait, years wait, old. Wait, wait, wait. If, if this, this is, is soccer, if this is this. soccer, he's Cristiano Ronaldo with Real Madrid. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so this Luka Doncic, as I watch him, he's 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, he can shoot the ball. He's a guy out of this entire draft that understands angles. And he's a guy also that can play the point guard position in a positionless basketball game and play on the ball, off the ball. You can put this guy anywhere on the floor. He's going to be successful. I love him. He won everything possible with Real Madrid. Woo. But no, no Trey Young. I don't see, I don't see no Trey Young right here. That's in this big board. man bias. That's All big right. man bias. Come on, man. All you know right. that. Check us out every Thursday at midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific on ESPN2.